Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, February the 22nd. It's the second week in Lent. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 65, Genesis 41, verse 46 to 57. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth, and seas for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Praise waits for you, O oh God, in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid. Psalm 65, and please recite it with me. Praise waits for you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid. To you that hear our prayer, to you all flesh shall come. Sin prevails against me. As for our transgressions, you shall purge them away. Blessed are they whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the blessings of your holy temple. By wondrous things you answer us, O God of our salvation. You are the confidence of all the earth and of the, of the far off seas. By your strength you set fast the mountains. You are girded with power. You still the noise of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the tumult of the people. They that dwell in the ends of the earth are afraid at your wonders. You make the going out of the morning and evening to rejoice. You visit the earth and water it. Your river in heaven is full of water. You prepare them corn, and so you provide for the earth. You water the earth abundantly. You drench its furrows and make it soft with showers, and you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, and abundance flows in your paths. It flows in the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are covered with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Praise waits for you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid. A reading from Genesis 41, beginning at verse 46. Joseph was 30 years old when he entered the service of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went through all the land of Egypt. And during the seven plenteous years, the earth produced abundantly. He gathered up all the food of the seven years when there was plenty in the land of Egypt, and he stored up food in the cities. He stored up in every city the food from the fields around it. And so Joseph stored up grain in such abundance, like the sand of the sea, that he stopped measuring it. It was beyond measure. And before the years of famine came, Joseph had two sons, whom Asenath, daughter of Potipharah, the priest of On, bore to him. And Joseph named the firstborn Manasseh, for he said, God has made me forget all my hardship and all my father's house. And the second he named Ephraim, for God has made me fruitful in the land of my misfortunes. The seven years of plenty that prevailed in the land of Egypt came to an end, and the seven years of famine began to come, just as Joseph had said. There was a famine in every country, but throughout the land of Egypt, there was bread. 
And when all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried out to Pharaoh for bread. Pharaoh said to all the Egyptians, Go to Joseph, what he says you, to you do. And since the famine had spread over all the land, Joseph opened up all the storehouses and sold to the Egyptians, for the famine was severe in the land of Egypt. Moreover, all the world came to Joseph in Egypt to buy grain, because the famine became severe throughout the world. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ. And for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Brother Donald and Paul. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Brother Ronald Francis. And for those struggling with addiction, especially Sean and Bill. That they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prison reform, for prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Martin, Sarah, Brother Stephen Edward, William, Brother Walter Arthur, and Stephen, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We rejoice in your abundant blessings. Wipe away our sins as we place all our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.